welcome to the first Bible adventure in June. It's a new month. I'm so excited to be back. And I'm grateful to God for the opportunity that you are here and I'm here. It will be a joyful month for us in Jesus' name. All through this month, we'll be talking about powerful men and women in the Bible who God spoke to. God spoke to a lot of them. So through this month of June, we're going to discuss about them, what God told them and what they did. It's going to be exciting. So I advise you invite your friends, your siblings to come watch with you all through this month. Is that okay by you? Yes. Today, I will tell you a story about a powerful man of God. He was a prophet. Do you know who a prophet is? A prophet is someone who hears directly from God and says it to the people. Can I say that again? A prophet is someone who hears directly from God and says what he heard to the people. He tells the people what God told him. Or told her. So before I tell you about this powerful man of God, I would like to ask you some questions. Can you see my picture? Have you seen a firefighter? Maybe probably on the television or within your neighborhood. What do firefighters do? What do you think they do? They fight fire and they save lives. How about a doctor? What do doctors do? They treat and take care of sick people, right? Yes. How about a police officer or a soldier? They defend their nation and people. And you know what? People regard them as powerful because of what they do. They treat, they defend, and they save lives. That's what they do. Guess what? That's how they regard this prophet I'm talking about. That's why they regard this powerful man of God. Why? Because he defended the worship of God. I will tell you more about this prophet and the name of the prophet after praise and worship. So before praise and worship, I will want us to pray. You know how we do it, right? Hands together, eyes closed, and head bow. In Jesus' name, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us to another Bible adventure. Please help us to learn from your word, help us to understand, and help us to apply all what we're going to learn today in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord God, to worship you from our heart today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. It's time to dance. It's time to sing. He said the Lord inhabits the praise of his people. God enjoys it when we worship him, when we praise him. Hope you're ready. Yes, let's go.
Wow, welcome back, children. I know you danced, you sang, and you chanted, right? Me, I danced, I had an amazing time singing and dancing. Yes, I promised you that I was going to tell you the name of the prophet and more about this powerful prophet. His name is Elijah. Can you say it? Elijah. I think we should clap our hands like this and say Elijah. Say it. Elijah. Can you say that with me? Elijah. Awesome. Elijah was a prophet of God. Was a powerful prophet and a miracle worker they call him we call him miracle worker because he did a lot of miracle he prayed to god and there was no rain for three and a half years no rain so their crops could not grow nothing could happen no water everywhere was dry because one man elijah prayed to god that there should be no rain and there was no rain. Guess what? He prayed again. And rain came. Hey, rain came. Everybody was happy. Elijah multiplied food for a widow who offered to give her, to give him food. When she had only a little, the widow had only a little food, but she offered to give Elijah food. So Elijah multiplied food for her. Elijah multiplied oil for a widow with two sons, whose the husband's debtor wanted to take the sons because they could not pay the debt. But thank God, Elijah multiplied her oil and she was able to pay the dead. Another miracle that Elijah did. Elijah performed a lot of miracle. Like I told you before, I said he defended the worship of God over the worship of the first God called Ba. Ba was a, a God that cannot walk, that cannot see, but the people of Israel were worshipping this idol. So Elijah defended the worship and said, my God is the true God. Ba is not the true God. And during this time was the reign of King, King Ahab. So uh, Elijah invited King Ahab and the prophets of Ba to Mount Carmel. He told them, Let's get it right. Let's know who is the true God. Let's find out whether it's Ba or is the God of Elijah. Let's find out if it's my God or if it's your God, Ba. They did this by placing two bulls on the altar for sacrifice. One for the prophets of Ba another for Elijah. Elijah said, call on your God. If your God can come and take this sacrifice without you setting fire on it, we will know your God is the true God. If my God does that, we know my God is the true God. So the prophets of Ba, they started praying, calling upon their God Ba, calling on him, calling, cutting themselves, hitting themselves, shouting, crying from morning to noon to evening. Guess what? Their God could not answer because he has no ears, he has no mouth. So he could not answer. They were frustrated. Elijah said, shout more. Maybe your God is sleeping. Wake him up with your shout so he can come and rescue you. 
they kept calling and calling, but their God did not answer. Then Elijah prayed to the to his God. He said, "If I if I am truly your servant, Father, let fire come and burn this sacrifice." You know what? Immediately, fire came and burnt the bull and burnt the sacrifice. Guess what? Everybody was surprised. Everybody was amazed. The people of Israel, they fell on the ground. They started crying, saying, the Lord is God. The Lord is God. The Lord is the true God. Children, can you say, the Lord is God? Yes, the Lord is God. They said, your God could do this. That means your God is the true God. This brought a great change among the people of Israel. They, they came back to the worshipping of the true God. They came back to start worshipping the true God of Elisha. And everything went on normally. Elisha was able to do this because he trusted in God. He was bold. He was courageous. He was not afraid of the, of the plenty prophets of Ba. He was just one. But he was able to stand to defend the worship of God. That God is the true God. That you should not worship any other God. Because he trusted in God. You too can trust in God. You too can be courageous. You too can be bold like Elijah. If you trust in God. Is the story not beautiful? Is it not wonderful? Yes, it's awesome. So, I will urge you that you should always trust in God. Whenever you have anything to do, pray to God. Read your Bible. Ask questions when you don't understand. With this, you will know God more and more and you will be able to trust in Him. That is the interesting part of the story and that is what we have learned that it is good to trust in God. And when you pray to the true God, He answers. Is that fine, children? Yes. Now, we're going to take our memory verse. Are you ready, children? Our memory verse is taken from the book of Amos. Can you say it? Say Amos. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Can you say that with me? Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Let's say that again. Amos chapter 3, verse 7. See, the sovereign Lord never does anything. Can you say that with me? The sovereign Lord, say it, the sovereign Lord never does anything until he reveals his plans to his servants, the prophets. Can we say it again? The sovereign Lord never does anything until he reveals his plans to his servants, the prophets. I think we will say it one more time. The Sovereign Lord never does anything until He reveals His plans to His servants, the prophets. I know you will get it. We'll be saying it all through the month of June. So as you keep saying it, you will get, you will get used to it. So it's time for our creativity. And I know you're ready for it. You love creativity. So our creativity today is going to, we're going to spell the name Elijah. Can you see my board? We're going to spell the name Elijah. You can see it is scattered now, but we're going to arrange it so that you know how to spell and write the name Elijah. So the first one is E. Can you see my e? letter E? It says E. Then l, l, l. 
Hope you can see it. E l a yes. You are you are saying this is e yes. When you get to grade one, they will tell you when to use e as i is e l e l a j. Say j. Then a. Can you see it? Elijah. That is how it is spelled. So you know what you do? You can tell your older siblings or mommy or daddy to cut out the letters of Elijah. So you know how to write Elijah. Whenever you see it, you remember that Elijah was a prophet, was a powerful man. He trusted God and God did answer him so whenever you're in trouble just call upon god so we have come to the end of today's bible adventure but you know what i can't go without praying with you so we have to pray and speak into our week are you ready hands together eyes closed and head bar in jesus name Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's Bible adventure. Thank you because you shall help us, Lord God, to trust in you in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to do the right things at the right time in the name of Jesus. Cause us, Lord God, to be bold. Cause us, Lord God, to be courageous at all times in the name of Jesus. Thank you because this week is fruitful for us in Jesus' name. Our going out and our coming in is preserved by you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for our mothers. Thank you for our fathers. Thank you for our pastors. Thank you for our friends and our teachers. It is well with us this week in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alright, it's for me. It's bye.